Alrighty, so well, it's a new day. We have left where we camped last night and we're off on a ferry over to Hell and then heading more north. So for now, yet another ferry trip. So we've arrived at this absolutely incredible little place called Fjelland and it's got this epic little sauna behind us here which we're booked into to go in in an hour so we are uh, it's actually the perfect day to be hitting the saunas here in Norway because as you can see it's uh, a pretty moody day full of mist and clouds and it's been raining kind of all day apparently this like town is just full of like secondhand bookstores yep. so that's kind of crazy town. eh? Crazy it's really as. apparently called Booktown. Is it called Booktown? <laughs> no, not called, but it is a, a book. So town. the people here That's must be I'm very saying. knowledgeable <laughs> and good at writing songs. Because when I used to be doing a lot of songwriting, they always said read a lot of books if you want to be good at songwriting. So, Fjordland, sing us a song. So after a pretty awesome little sauna session last night, we drove further down the road along the fjord and uh, came to this little spot on the side of the road, which it's hardly a road because no one's actually driving on it, but it's beautiful. Beautiful view of the fjord and just quiet, peaceful. We've got a little water uh, waterfall up the top there, which is a pretty nice little background sound. And to be honest, it's just a pretty idyllic little place to be <laughs> waking up in, even though it's just kind of on the side of the road randomly and down the fjord so uh yeah pretty beautiful we're going to make some pancakes we're doing pancakes nina you heard it from the camp pancake boss apparently it's meant to be a pretty rainy day again so we're going to just keep heading north see what looks awesome and if we find somewhere that looks nice we're going to stop enjoy it and show you where it is So I reckon today we're just like really just like sort of drive on our route. See how the weather's going, but I just plan to go to the next. So on our way back up north we've just applied the town again. And uh, I just want to show you this thing because here as I mentioned was pretty famous for it being a little book town. And there's stacks of these little sort of book pop-ups. So uh, if you're into books come and buy some rare, unique reads. So last night while we were in the sauna, one of the locals said that there's a glacier museum right here, which is looking pretty good. So we thought we'd stop by and go and check it out, hey? Yes. You ever been to a glacier museum? No, I haven't. And I'm sure it's like very interesting. So looking forward so to it. So let's, we'll check it out. So we're just like in, in the cinema of this museum. I guess it's starting. Fake glacier tunnel. There you go. So we just finished at the museum 
and it's actually pretty awesome. So if you're in Fjalland, definitely come here because it's a uh, there's a bunch of experiences that you can go through the film that they have here, which is actually pretty epic. And they got this nice little behind the scenes, which I always enjoy them. So yeah. What do you think? I guess it was like one of the best museums I've ever been to. to huh. honest. I mean, there's a recommendation I, for you, hey? Not that I often go to museums, but like what I really enjoyed was that it was really interactive. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of different a lot things. Of information, Good information. Like, yeah, but the way like how they teach this information or something is very It is well. very cool. A lot yeah. of little things you can do in that. So yeah. Yeah. It's pretty simple, but it's super nice to so go there if you're in the region. Yeah. It's a really beautiful day here today and because it's a little bit rare to get such a nice day we're off to get some hiking in there's a little trail directly from the campsite so let's explore This was probably one of the most beautiful campsites and locations I'd ever been to. It's located on a lake called Lavatnet, and we stayed at one of the campsites called Sander Camping. It was a great little place to be based from as they have canoes and stand up paddle boards that you can rent, but also have a bunch of really good facilities that are really well kept and very clean. Going up now here. Right up there. With a sky lift, so I'm excited for that and I think it's a stunning view because we already got it recommended by I think two people, wasn't it? Yep. So yeah, I think it must be really nice. Karanga Fjord is said to be Norway's most beautiful fjord, but honestly, after the last weeks of seeing so many picture-perfect places, I wasn't totally blown away by it. Maybe I'm just a bit spoiled though. It is still beautiful, and if you do go, be sure to hike to this place called Skagafjör. It's pretty unreal and has a really interesting history. at Trollstigen, the Trolls Road, or however it is meant to be translated into. And uh, before we drive down it, we're gonna go check out a cheeky little viewpoint. So let's go and see.
since I've wanted to be doing this. And about 100 meters in front of me are some wild muskox here in the Norwegian wilderness, which is very cool. It's a pretty famous place. It's the only place in Norway that actually has uh, wild muskox or muskox at all. We had to climb the mountain because we could see them from down there. Just incredible creatures. Salo with wild muskox in Norway. incredible day with the muskox. It's time to head back to the van. We've got quite the walk through this crazy wilderness. Yeah, what an incredible day. That's been something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and to get pretty close to them and just sit there and experience them was pretty unreal to be honest considering that they're some of the oldest animals in the world. You know to think that muskox used to roam with like woolly mammoths and all that sort of stuff is pretty unbelievable so if you're with your van stop by here because it's tons of places to park along here um, it's on the e6 and you can just go for a nice old hike and see if you're lucky you find a, a wild muskox so yeah anyway time to go back to the van as i said and uh get some sleep ready for another day So we are hiking today in a stunning place called Inadalen. We've read online that this is Norway's most beautiful valley. So we're gonna check it out, see if it's true. Which to be honest, the views so far, even though we're just kind of in a forest, is telling me it could be. So we'll show you along, get some good hiking in, maybe even shoot a cheeky time lapse by the end of the day. That's my plan. So uh, yeah, let's hit the trails.
normally behind us here it's a little like dairy place they've got cows and goats and everything and on the weekends from apparently 12 to 3 they serve waffles and apparently they're awesome so if you're here on the weekend make sure you grab a waffle this is the hike we're going on so if you want to do the same hike look for this sign and follow it So the first part of this trail is, as you can see here, pretty muddy, a lot of rocks, but it's quite nice because you're quite sheltered and shaded on the way up. So, so far so good, but just a little bit of a tricky trail to navigate at times, but that's all right. Makes it a bit more fun, eh? Get a ball of water, mate. Got to fill up a ball of water. The last section of this trail has been straight up. So, pretty steep, pretty tiring, but we're almost there. So, let's do the last of this. So we've just made it to the place we're gonna enjoy sunset. This is absolutely incredible. Just a beautiful place, so. We got some food, some fake hiking food, and uh, we're gonna cook that up. Coffee. Oh yeah, we're trying this coffee. For this one? Be your own brister. We bought this at like a little camping store. I don't know how it's gonna be, but let's try it anyway. I'm gonna set up a time lapse just here. It's gonna run till the sun is gone, and we're gonna enjoy the view yes. and some food. So let's do it. So let's reduce it. Alrighty. There's the time lapse. Let's do some food. So Nina's just having a sleep, so I've come down. Just thought I'd check up what's on top of this hill. See if we get a little bit of a different view, a different perspective. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say from here that this is truly one of Norway's most beautiful valleys. Ah, oh, come and check the view from this stone. It is absolutely insane. All right, so this is truly the view from here. You can really see the entire valley. So over here you've got the hiking path in, beautiful lake there. Da down here you've got the, uh, the lodges on a weekend, get some waffles there. But yeah, just look at this, incredible. It's time to get back to Nina now, get a coffee into me and just keep enjoying this. But over here, it's to be honest where I wish I'd probably set up the time lapse because this is really incredible. But nice where it is as well. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Of course. After the hike down in the dark, we drove for an hour and a half into the night and woke up on the west coast of Norway at one of the most famous roads in the world. The Atlantic Road is a unique road that connects two parts of the mainland through a series of bridges that run through a bunch of small islands. Seeing as we were at such a well-known and beautiful place, we figured why not get up early and enjoy this stunning road at sunrise.
there it is. The Atlantic Road is checked off the list. So we've just arrived at an unreal little camp spot right here about 20 minutes north of the Atlantic Road. It's called Skianaset Dock Camping. So if you're in the region, you've come over the Atlantic Road and you want a nice little camp spot. Nina's I'm fully already, in. I'm, I'm oh yeah. Here. Just take it easy. <laughs> it's a small little one, but it's uh that's all you need, eh? We've been off grid now for a five week? days. No, I think it was a week, like six nights for sure. Really? A whole week we've been free camping. Heckers, look at that for a bunch of hippies. So yeah, basically like my battery in the van ran out and everything, so I'm uh, kind of charging everything. Got a lot of work to do on the computer, but I think we're gonna just enjoy it here today. Have I'll work barbecue. away, go for some walks, enjoy this view, and yeah, it's sunset. Let's do a barbecue, eh? Yes. <laughs> Salmon, some mushies, some mushrooms, some zucchini, some potato. It's pretty much all we seem to eat on this trip, so we're doing the same tonight. You keen? Definitely. Always. Very nice. Stefan, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Servus. Servus, yes, he's a legend. <laughs> so we've just passed into the Arctic Circle. Absolutely unreal. Check this out. Alright, ready? 